Hey guys, my name is Carisia. You guys might have to play that back a couple of times because no one ever gets it. If you're new to my channel, I am mostly a beauty and lifestyle blogger, but I do do a bit of like everything. I typically post videos every single Monday and sometimes an extra day in the week. I really want to start doing two videos a week. So if you want to see two videos a week for me, be sure to hit the like button and like let me know in the comments. I'm like coming up with all these ideas and I I want to put out two videos but I wouldn't want to do that if no one's gonna watch them you know I'm gonna be showing you five products that we love using in our hair care routines so a little bit of background on my hair I am currently like four or five years natural I went natural in 2013 um, I remember I went natural straight out of high school because I wanted to go natural in high school but I was just like literally just like so afraid of like what these kids would do like these New York City kids are pretty wild and I was just not gonna be for it okay so yeah I waited till I got out of high school and then like a couple months I went and then like I went natural that was about 2013 it's 2018 now so that's like five years and that's a pretty long time currently my hair stretched is about like this one I wish I had my hair out but like I just like did it and I was like no nah, I'm not gonna take out my protective style just to film this video I'm sorry I have a couple of other natural hair videos that I filmed way, way, way back. So I mean, you could go watch that. I think it's only like, I don't know. But like, if you want to see one of those, you could just like go click on my channel. And yeah, there'll be plenty more to come though because like I plan on doing like hair care routines and all of that, especially on my journey. And last year, I slacked OD on like trying to grow my hair or take care of my hair. Yeah, but this year, I just know that one of my goals was to get back on my hair care routine because I want to get to nipple length. So like if you guys want to like see videos about that and that journey, be sure to like hit the subscribe button and just like follow me along and let me know that if you want to see that because I'd be happy and all doing. So some, the first thing that I want to show you is something that I've loved throughout my entire hair journey and that is the Just For Me Hair Milk Pre-Wash Softening Detangler detangu detangler whatever and this is just made with shea butter soy milk and honey and it says for all hair textures as you can see it's almost done i got this for five dollars i've been using this since the beginning of my hair journey i was transitioning for six months but then like the difference the difference in textures just got to me once i put this in let it sit for like a minute or two i can like detangle my hair with literally no problem i've always loved just for me products this particular line their hair milk because I just always felt like it made my hair like so soft and nice and plus it smells so good. I'm like, ah, amazing. I would highly recommend it for anyone who is natural or just went natural. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is a two-step treatment. I don't know if any of you have heard of it, but I just feel like it's really good for repairing my hair whenever I feel like my hair is just like gone a little bit too dry or a little bit wonky and I just feel like it just helps restore your hair to just a better and more workable state just I don't know it's a really good product so now second item is this afro g two-step treatment they do have bigger bottles in this um I actually realized I had so many of these and like I didn't have any of this I don't know why that is I don't know what I was doing it is a protein treatment um I'm sorry if you can hear like kids screaming in my backyard. I don't know why they're screaming like this. I never even heard kids in this neighborhood in like years since I was a child. So they just decided to come out today. But um, okay. Have your fun guys. While I'm filming. It's cool. Live your childhood. It's okay. So yeah, this is it's a two-step protein treatment. This is the first step and then this is the moisturizing treatment afterwards. This first step is for stopping the breakage or it rebuilds hair structure for six weeks, ideal for process or natural hair. I guess you would use this like every four to six weeks if you want to or as needed. And I would not recommend overdoing it though because too much protein is not good for your hair. The second step is this balancing balancing and the second step is this balancing moisturizer it says it infuses moisture improves manageability softness and shine but um anyway it's just like really good for some people don't like the smell of it I th they think it's really bad I personally it I think it smells but it's just like not like gag worthy or something that I like couldn't 
handle you know it's a very messy treatment like getting it all over your hair it's like so sticky and it's just it's just something that like I'd have to show you to um or you have to try to like fully understand like what I'm saying because people like talk about it but like you f the fullest experience is like when you see it or when you when you try it yourself if you want like a full routine of me doing a protein treatment then of course also leave that down below because i'd be happy to do that and i've been thinking of it anyway so you know if you want me to do it so the next product is something that i don't have with me right now because i've been trying out something else recently and i don't want to like give a review on that yet but the other item that i use i'm gonna put it like right here or somewhere on the screen it's just gonna pop up it's a ors uplifting shampoo and it's a organic root stimulator it says it gently lifts flakes and excess oil helps condition and detangle hair i typically don't wash my hair like not wash my hair but i don't wash my hair with shampoo often i usually co-wash more so i use this when i want like a deep cleanse when i want everything that i don't want and all the dirt and the grime that's all the built-up product it's a shampoo it's like a cleanser like i use it when i want like a clean slate so i use it about like every end of the month or something like that or less because sometimes like I really don't shampoo my hair unless I really feel like I need to shampoo my hair because I don't do much with it anyway. This was the first shampoo that I ever went to when I started my hair journey. I went to the store, I was like, I need a good shampoo. I need something that's sulfate free and um, what's the other one? I think it's paraben. I just needed something that was free of all those like crazy chemicals that you hear about that isn't good for your hair like off the back that are usually in like most shampoos. So I asked the lady what should i use and like she automatically picked this product up and i've just been in love with it whenever i finish with it i feel like it did exactly what i wanted it to do it just let like left my hair super duper squeaky clean and i just i like, love this product and i would recommend it for anyone who's like newly natural or just natural the clean that i get from it just feels good like it feels good when i'm done using it so i feel like that's a good sign like i don't know and it doesn't have all the gross stuff that you don't want in your hair so yeah so this are this originally was not a part of my five favorite items and i just want to do these things in order this is the shea moisture jamaican black castor oil strengthening and restore leave-in conditioner with pepper oh with shea butter, peppermint, and apple cider vinegar. It's supposed to intensely smooth and nourish natural chemical process or heat styled hair. Obviously I'm natural, but I most definitely do put heat in my hair, not often. I'm trying not to though for like a year or at least until summertime, which just gives it like a couple of month break from heat. But anyway, back on topic. I have tried Shea Moisture before and I just didn't really cling to it despite what everyone else like said. I just like tried it a couple times and every time I've tried the other products, it's just like, it just like didn't do anything for me. I bought this yesterday and I used it for my hair this morning. It is a leave-in conditioner by the way, if I didn't say that. And I just been looking around for a leave-in conditioner for a minute and I got one that was in a spray bottle and I... It's okay for like everyday use, but I feel like it wasn't like deeply moisturizing my hair enough or locking in, helping to lock, keep that moisture in, you know. I bought something else and I feel like one of my biggest struggles right now is keeping my hair moisturized. So I just wanted to get something that was really good. So I was like, I don't know, it's just from like everything that's said here, it just kind of like drew my attention especially because i had jamaican black castor oil and that's something that i used to lock in the moisture anyways so i was like okay it's kind of like on a symmetrical type of like thing i don't know i don't know how to describe it i feel like just from using it this morning i'm like pretty much in love with it already when i finished doing my hair after like the thirty thousand hours it takes when i finished doing my hair i was like I feel like my hair is going to be moisturized for like three days and I've never like used a product that made me feel that way. I got up at like 5 in the morning, washed my hair. When I was finished washing my hair, I had my hair out for not that long, honestly. And then I put this in and then like I had this in my hair for a good, I don't know, just two hours before I decided to lock it in with the oil because I wanted to lock it in with the oil same time I was braiding it but I didn't feel like braiding at the same time I put my leave-in conditioner and I didn't want it to dry before I put in my leave-in conditioner. Usually when I wash my hair, I apply my leave-in, I let it sit, it'll 
dry my hair will go it will, it will dry like when your hair is wet it dries but with this product I noticed which was crazy to me that like the entire time I was braiding my hair I sat before I braided my hair when I finished braiding my hair after using the product my hair did not dry out like my hair did not dry like of course I towel dried it before but like the moisture that was in my hair from washing it didn't like dry i'm just like what because my hair it dries pretty quick and like it kept my hair like damp for like hours and i'm like yo that's crazy because that ain't never happened to me before so that just made me like fall in love with this and i'm like um this is most definitely gonna be part of my routine now because i definitely struggle with that dryness like all all the time and of course it's a little bit on the pricier side as shea moisture usually is but it is fully worth it i got this for 14 dollars it's a really big tub it also i don't particularly like the smell but it doesn't smell bad it, it smells like play-doh honestly it has like a really clay like smell to it i don't really like it but i don't dislike it either uh, but using this and then locking it in with the black castor oil to um oiling my scalp all the products together they just like created this nice smell all together so like even though i didn't like it by itself with the rest of my hair routine it just left my hair smelling super good also so i'm like oh, moisturized and it smells good right up my alley so the last items i got you got a glimpse of it there so the last two items well it's not two items but it's actually a combination of items my fifth favorite products product combination is these two items so i use these two products for styling i use them for my edges in particular getting my edges to lay was like one of the hardest things going natural i'm like i give up this is just not my hair can't do it my hair can't can't lay my edges like my edges just like aren't there for it right now i just could not figure it out how to keep my edges held like eco style gel doesn't work for me no gel works for me it's just like it just wasn't working like it wasn't adding up but then one day my sister bought this she bought this and i just thought it like held my hair really well and i also always like the dr miracle edge edge control so i just thought maybe if i put the two together a really gel product that doesn't make my hair revert and a edge holding gel product that's really waxy it would be a perfect combination and <laughs> i was right <laughs> i'm just kidding so this is the l'oreal paris advanced hairstyle locket extreme style gel 24 hour gravity defy high shine max maximum hold non-sticky no residue i don't get um what's that called flakes when your hair starts to flake i don't get that um my sister used to like oh, he gonna vacuum he gonna vacuum he gonna vacuum they want to play today they always want to play when you pull out the camera that is so funny to me but yeah ridiculous i cannot believe why why i hope you guys can hear that because it's just like the noise i came in here so there wouldn't be any noise and like y'all want to be loud today come on uh, come on yeah these, it doesn't flake when i apply these two and it does keep my hair held down really well for a really long time and that's what i'm using today but this is obviously on my um closure i actually only used this today i didn't add this with it um, obviously because it's not my real hair i don't need that like extra hold so yeah the, i just use a toothbrush and i apply this to my hair and i just like swoop it down and then like i apply this just for more holds also just to like shape them better and just like keep them in place better the combination of the two is just really good i didn't even say what this was this is dr miracle's fill formula style edge holding gel and it says super hold formula is blended with jehovah oil adds to add shine and condition i literally thought i would have to like super glue my edges for it to work and like literally this combination is basically the equivalent because it doesn't go anywhere so yeah these two are really good so that is all for this video if you like this video or you found it helpful be sure to hit the thumbs up button down below and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you in my next video guys